Ah, previously. What? Previously, during the investigation, oh. these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. Angry face. There's <laughs> something in this town. You feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me about it. I just love that. My coffee warned me about it. <laughs> My coffee told me it was gonna have shit fucked up. Oops. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why didn't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. I'm sure there's going to be some reason why... Oh, they're in it. Obviously. Angel is, is Zach. Why is Zach? Oh, yeah. Oh, this. Sugar donut, take it. My sugar donut. No one else's sugar donut. This is just man. This is our man. Um, what if I do this? Can I? I cannot open the door. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna open this door then. I don't exactly know why. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I don't actually have a weapon. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. What the fuck? Oh! York! York! Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. <gasps> Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Oh, see? <laughs> what? What? I'm just... He's just having a little dance, it's okay. He's having a little dance, a little breaky bra- breaky bronze, breaky dance. Just put him on some dubstep, he'll be happy. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any dubstep music. I said like, yay, but I don't know any. He does look like he's doing a very bad dance, but I no longer have to hold it. I'm holding it anyway. I don't think there's anyone who could hold their breath for that long. Who are you? It's Zach. I don't know. I just assumed. I did the assume assume. <laughs> that kid's really happy with himself. Like, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, it's chilly. <laughs> I'm getting chills down my spine. I know it's just because it's cold here. It's like, oh, it's, uh, too spookies for me. So spookies. So spooks.
Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. You're not meant to smoke indoors. A carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, that'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. The way he says we, I'm assuming it is someone who's like... Let's head to the cafeteria, him. Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? <laughs> Just make fun of him, it's fine. He was annoying anyway. Okay, so I'm going down here, I assume. Dun, dun, na, 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 na. What's this? Oh, I can save, okay. Let's save. Might as well save. Eh, save. Yes, so much save. Extra for daily report. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Da, da, da. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? <laughs> the salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old. <coughs> I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. <laughs> I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, down, I, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yes. Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town <laughs> is called Green again. It rains here quite often, but... 
It's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous, too. The clock? Oh, yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it like many times clocks. during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it, too, I think. I look forward to hearing it, then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. Does the it smell milk? The it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. I the hope so, Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. <sighs> that a little rude. To smoke in someone's house without asking them. And then to say... Even if you just moan about their coffee randomly. It's kind of rude. They made you coffee. And you're gonna be like, no, I don't like it. Be kind of like, well, fuck you then. That probably didn't make much sense. FX. Did you see that, Zach? No. Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. Oh, that was I thought it was X. I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. He said that while taking a drink. Let's get going! Yeah, there's a thing. Eh, eh, eh. I want it. Thank you. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Apparently I can't go out there. Hmm. Nope, shit. Dun, da, 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 da. I like that song. I don't even know what song is. Oh, I just pushed through a door. I hope she doesn't mind. Ah, uh, let's get going. Uh. Oh, hi. If you need anything, you can find me at my front desk. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much, but they may help you out. So you're the sale girl too, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. Oh, right, then... Oh, I can do this! Do you want something? Do you want something? Talk, I guess. If you're heading out, I should warn you, don't be out too late. There's been a lot of trouble in these parts recently. Trouble? You know, the terrible murders! It's just so scary! Very true, but I am, you know, looking for the murderer. It would be much easier if the killer would just show up and try to kill me. Oh, don't say such horrible things. <laughs> well, you're gonna risk something to gain something. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I'm not that kind of lady. Zack, I think she misstood me, understood me again. Okay. Ah, yes. Open it. Let's go. Let's -a go. First day of the investigation. That counted as the first day of an investigation? 